the one of the way uh, we'll learn about uh, you know how to visualize that. The main problem in doing uh, ultrasound not block is you know, most of the time the needle is not visible. So this is what we are going to do is that we are going to see how to make the visualization of the needle better. So this is one of those any of the IV uh, collapsible bottle and uh, you know each each bottle has air in it and air is the enemy of ultrasound. So we are going to take this air out from this bottle. So this is I can hear the air is going out and once the air is out you know there is a little bit of uh, uh, still there we just need to take it out as much as possible okay once the bag is ready now all right so once the air is out the bag is ready now what we are going to do is put some jelly uh, think of uh, the human tissue or any of those uh, area you are going to get blocked not blocked so you put it there and adjust your height at this bright structure what you are seeing is probably the steel or the hard surface over there and you can see those uh, dropping bubbles the, these are all micro bubbles inside any of the needle will take it first we will go for in plane and out plane how does it look like so you know just one or two centimeter away you puncture at the center of the screen all right now now once it is punctured then we are going to search it you see the needle even the expert if he practices half an hour then he will understand what is happening okay you can see the needle going down and once I go down I'm losing my visibility so with a little bit of adjustment you can see it better so this is how you can see those uh, needle correctly you see my movement now the point is what I am to say once you are inside the inside the tissue you are not supposed to move the needle if you move the needle you are going to see it but thing is that if the patient is awake then he is going to have too much of pain. So you move the probe instead of needle, you move the probe. So this is what exactly in plain approach looks like. Suppose I need to be targeting here, I'll go back and I'll come there with a little bit of adjustment. Okay, here, my target is here. Suppose my target at the top, then I'll go back and I'll come like a gun alright so like this so needle tip and sharp both are visible so it needs practice it needs as much as practice you can do similarly you can go for the out of plane you know out of plane has a once the tip came you know you can follow that follow that Yes, we touch down. Okay, you see, this is the needle tip. We're touching. I'm feeling it. Okay, so with the probe, you have to angle it like this. With the probe, you have to angle it. So I came out. You see, and the needle tip appeared. Then I will follow. I'll follow. I'll follow it till it touches the floor. A needle out of plane approach, you'll find only a dot. This can, this, this can be a sharp, this can be, see, the tip is there, I am not touching, what is happening, I have already touched it, so with the direction of the probe, I would see where is the tip, you have to follow it, see, already see, you know, in the middle also it is appearing, and once, it, but I am touching the floor, so I have to search, so this is it, so this is one of those way to see the out of plane. Out of plane, pro has, tilting of the pro has a lot of role. And in plane, Q 
keeping the probe. Now the needle will come from this side because we have changed the direction. You see, it's as bright needle as possible. You know, the whole needle shaft and tip. Now make sure that tip of the the the, the, the bevel of the uh, of the needle is facing towards the probe. If the if you can make a little bit of uh, difference, if the bevel of the needle is facing towards the probe, it appears much better. Okay, like this. Okay, if I rotate it, see the bevel is down. Now the bevel is up. It it shows you that where the needle is better visualized. So bevel towards the up, large bore needle, angle of uh, insulation should be, you know, if it be more than 30 degree, you are not going to see it. So these are some of the things. The point is, this is how you do it. The, to do it one hour uh, uh, while you are starting now block. And you know, in between, I do it once in every month, just to see how is my needle visualization. So this is the technique. The more you practice, the more you get. Thank you very much.